Good afternoon, everyone. Yes. Graduates, good afternoon. <laughs> you may all be seated. For those. <laughs> So good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Linda Scott, Dean of the University of Wisconsin-Madison School of Nursing. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome the families and friends of our 2023 graduating class. Yeah. I am also pleased to welcome special guests who are with us today, including friends and supporters of the school. Members of the class of 2023, I am so pleased and so very proud to welcome you and say congratulations, new graduates of the UW-Madison School of Nursing. If you have not already done so, I hope you will look around now and appreciate the significance of this moment. Take a few deep breaths and think about all that you have accomplished during your time at UW-Madison. You have managed highs and lows. You have juggled your nursing education and tried to make it balance with the rest of your life. It has not been easy, but look at where you are now. At times, you have been right where you should be, ready to seize the opportunities in front of you. Then, despite your hard work, you have faced unexpected and disruptive challenges. This was something we recently faced together. In this case, it came in the form that simply should not be acceptable to any of us. I'm speaking of a hateful message that circulated publicly a few weeks ago. It then echoed in our conversations, thoughts, and emotions, and it may even have opened previous wounds for some. The ugly sentiments that invaded our consciousness are diametrically opposed to our core makeup. Hate contradicts the positive values that make us whole and allow us to feel well. As humans, we feel deeply and we all deserve to flourish in the warmth and light of loving kindness. This is what I want for you. Thank you. Our deep human emotions can also leave us vulnerable to a very real ache, one that is just as real as physical pain. Some of you were hurt directly. Others of you were moved to offer compassion. No one should have experienced what darkness created. So, what can we do? We can unite in our adamant rejection of such darkness, and we can strive to enlighten the world when we are able. As you enter the world as nurses who lead in the profession and society, you will offer and experience healing in many forms. I hope you will be just as dedicated to accepting comfort, light, and gentleness from others when you need it. The more deeply you value this, the brighter and healthier your future will be. Honoring the worth and dignity of yourself and all others is central to who we are. It is also essential to the profession you have chosen. You will find respect, justice, compassion, and equity in the words of our professional code of conduct. Many times, you will be honored to witness those words being brought to life by others. And I know you are committed to embodying and modeling them yourselves. This will matter deeply to others. Yet, it is an unfortunate truth that you will also witness the absence of these attributes in our profession and in the world. And it will always be shocking and hurtful. Even if you don't experience it directly, you will know there is harm when respect, justice, compassion, and equity are absent. May that knowledge always move you to action. That may be through quiet allyship in one moment or vocal advocacy in another. Both are powerful, 
both have their place. Do not underestimate the change that you can inspire and lead. As your dean, I feel great pride and hope for you and our profession. And now, new graduates, I invite you to celebrate all you have weathered and accomplished. I hope that you will feel this from the bottom of your heart. In fact, I think it's time for you to please stand and give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you, yes, and congratulations. Today, we recognize and celebrate 206 new Bachelor of Science in Nursing graduates from across three pathways to the degree. The traditional BSN, yes. <laughs> okay, I know you're out there. How about our accelerated BSN? And of course, our R in the BSN program, also known as BSN at Home. These three pathways have allowed you to earn the same life-changing nursing degree. You will all be connected as alumni of the School of Nursing. You will contribute to the school's nearly 100-year history and build on the legacy of Badger nurse leaders who came before you. They believe in your potential to lead and contribute to the profession. For those of you who are in our audience of friends, families, and supporters, how many of you are nurses? And I, I can't see you, but if you could at least clap and, and let us know that you're out there. And if you are willing to stand or clap even louder to be recognized, show your belief in our new Badger nurses. Graduates, as you leave this university, you will take a rich foundation of knowledge and the wisdom of your accomplished and passionate faculty. You will always be a source of pride for us, and we know that the future of nursing will be in good hands. My wish for you is that you will travel your nursing journey always feeling confident in what you know and trusting in your ability to learn more. Please remember, you will all, we will always consider you a part of the Badger Nurse family. You will always have us, you will always have each other, and you will always have a home in Sydney Scott Cooper Hall. Thank you, and once again, congratulations. Please join me now in welcoming to the podium Dr. Dana O'Brien, undergraduate program director who will bring greetings from the faculty. Thank you, Dean Scott. On behalf of the faculty here at UW-Madison School of Nursing, I would also like to give a warm welcome to our distinguished visitors, faculty, family, and students. We, the faculty, are honored to have everyone in attendance to celebrate all of our graduates on this momentous occasion. On behalf of each of our faculty at the School of Nursing, I can tell you that teaching is our passion. It has been our pleasure to work <laughs> with each and every one of you. We have learned so much from you and are grateful for the experiences shared. Our nursing program at UW-Madison is physically and mentally rigorous and demanding, as I'm sure this group would slightly agree. <laughs> Your dedication, adaptability, and perseverance over the past couple of years is awe-inspiring, to say the least. Today is a day of celebration. Class of 2023, you made it. Through all the highs and lows, the APA papers, the care plans, the simulations, the exams, the case studies, NGN, clinical judgment, and the pandemic. Please take a moment to look around you. Soak this all in. Your graduation day, the day that at one time seemed so far away, has finally arrived. 
Hold on tight to the friendships and memories made, and please never stop learning. Never stop asking questions, and always know we are all here for you. We are excited for you and all that lies in front of you. You are Badger nurses. You've got this. Thank you, Dr. O'Brien. Central to our mission as a school is to develop leaders for the profession in sight. You, our graduates, are the embodiment of that mission. You are our leaders. You are the future of care. I am pleased to bring forward three of those leaders, our graduation speakers, one from each program. These students were nominated and selected by their classmates to share their thoughts with us today. First, please join me in welcoming Sarah Nicole Kyleman to the podium, a graduate from our accelerated BSM program. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Scott. Welcome, everyone, and congratulations to all of my fellow UW-Madison School of Nursing Baccalaureate graduates of 2023. My name is Sarah Kyleman, and I am honored to be speaking to you all on behalf of the Accelerated Nursing Program. Every one of you has made an impact on the graduates who sit here today. I have thought long and hard about what I wanted to, to say to everyone on this very special day. I have struggled to find the right words to convey what this experience in the ABSM program has taught me about persistence, kindness, and true love for the nursing profession. However, not only an hour ago, I got stuck in my apartment elevator for about five minutes. Now that will make you think about life. I write this with my heartbeat still pounding in my throat, but with much more clarity about what matters right now. Moments like this, when a car just barely breezes past your own, when you miss a step on a staircase, or when your patient's vital signs suddenly go haywire, these tiny moments take you out of your mind and body, but just for a second. As nurses, we will be bombarded with challenges and tasks coming from every direction. I can't say that I know right now how I will tackle this, as I tend to have the attention span of a squirrel that tries to do 100 things at once. What I do know is that being present and living in the moment is absolutely crucial. Whether that means taking a seat in your patient's room and holding their hand while they tell you about their favorite person, or taking the scenic route on the way home from work to admire the sunset on the horizon. Appreciating the small things in life is what will keep us from getting bogged down in the sometimes terribly tragic things that we will see and hear as nurses. With this, I will give you some tips for, for shifting your perspective to one of living a full life despite everything seemingly being against you sometimes. Number one, know your strengths and use them. We are all sitting here at this graduation for a reason. Just a year ago, I know all of us stared at our program coordinators like deers in headlights when they warned us about the time commitment and difficulty level of this program. Sitting here today, we have all proven that we are hardworking, resilient, and determined individuals. Whether your strength is utilizing touch as a way to be nurturing towards a patient who is in one of their most scary and vulnerable times of their life, being diligent when a coworker says something that you don't agree with, or being the uplifter who is able to bring light into even the darkest of situations, you are all valued and needed in order to keep the system alive. Number two, pour your heart into the people and things that light a fire in your soul. Notice the small quirks and attributes about someone that make them who they are. If you like your patient's hairstyle, let them know. You never know how much a simple compliment can boost their spirit, especially when most of the things that they have heard that day are confusing or scary. If you love someone, tell them. You never know the last time they heard, I love you and I am here for you. And more importantly, you never know if it could be the last time that they hear it. Although life is so fragile, it can also be so fulfilling with the right people in it. 
I believe the field of nursing is about connection at its core and the bonds we form with patients can be everlasting and truly impactful on their mental and physical health for the rest of their lives. And lastly, number three, have something to live by. Fill your life with purpose each and every day and remember that you may be the only person your patient has to keep them afloat, both physically and mentally during that shift. Make it count. I want to thank everyone who has brought me on this journey of becoming a Badger nurse, especially my parents who helped push me through this rigorous program, knowing the outcome would be well worth it. I am so proud and honored to be sitting next to some of the most intelligent, kind, and humble people I have ever met, truly. And, and I cannot wait to see you all thrive in your future nursing endeavors. Once again, a huge congratulations to all the graduates here today, and I will leave you with this, one of my favorite quotes by Bianca Pastor that I like to read when I'm feeling sad or unmotivated. It reads, there are people waiting to meet you, people waiting to love you. There are places that stand still until you've stepped foot in them. Something really beautiful could happen for you in the morning. There is so much waiting for your arrival. Arrive there. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Our second speaker is a graduate from our BSN at Home program. Ellie Brandt, please join me at the podium. Thank you. Good afternoon, students, parents, faculty, and friends. Thank you so much for allowing me this opportunity to speak to you all today. I'm humbled and honored to be standing here among such a special group of individuals. For those of you who I haven't had the pleasure of meeting, my name is Ellie Brandt, and I've been a pediatric ICU nurse for the last five years at the University of Minnesota in Minneapolis. When they asked me to give this speech, <laughs> I was nervous, and I thought, I'm not a public speaker, I'm a nurse. But then I realized there are similarities. As nurses, we're constantly speaking on behalf of and advocating for our patients and for the profession of nursing as a whole. Also, like a public speaker, a nurse knows how to keep a room full of people on the edge of their seats waiting to hear what comes next. Before I go any further, I'd like to start by dedicating a massive congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. As many of you know, the BSN at Home program is uniquely challenging because there's so much to balance outside of school. Many of us have families, kids, and full-time nursing jobs to maintain. This challenge was met by so many students from all over, and it's been a journey I will never forget and always be proud of. As we look back on all of our graduates' journeys, we can appreciate the long road they've traveled and all the hard work they've shouldered to reach this point. We took on classes that will take our nursing practice to the next level, and the future is beyond bright for all of us. As we look ahead at the exciting future in front of us, I have no doubt we will receive a wealth of unique opportunities that will continue to shape us into the outstanding medical professionals we were destined to become. I'll leave you all with this. Graduates, I want to remind you that the education you received at UW-Madison has equipped you with the knowledge, skills, and values to make a positive impact on the world. Remember to always stay true to who you are and never forget the lessons you've learned here in nursing school. To the honorable families of our graduates, thank you for your unwavering support and guidance throughout the years. To the faculty and staff, thank you for your dedication and diligence in pushing us towards excellence. And to our graduates, once again, congratulations and best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you all for being here today to celebrate this monumental moment. Welcome to the profession of nursing and enjoy the ceremony. Thank you, Ellie. Oops. And now we will hear from one of the graduates of our traditional BSN program. Please join me in welcoming Abigail Mary jo Joseph, also known as MJ, to the podium. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. 
So to my fellow graduates, oh my goodness, <laughs> dear my fellow graduates, before I start, I would actually like to take a moment to thank Dean Scott for everything that she has done for us these past few years. From always coming to our events to always having her door open for us to come talk to her, and especially for the past three weeks as we have navigated the hurt that our community has faced. So thank you, Dean Scott, for being our champion and for being on our side by offering your support and standing with our student body as we work towards justice, equity, and inclusion, not only within the School of Nursing, but also throughout campus. Now to my friends, congratulations everyone, we finally did it. Uh, today is the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. I'm sure we can all agree as we look back at the last two years of our schooling that it has not been easy. We have cried many nights. <laughs> we have encountered challenges from both inside and outside of our classroom, and we've had to quickly learn how to juggle course coursework while making time for clinical and all of our activities outside of school all the while maintaining our personal lives and relationships. Despite all the struggles that we have faced, we did something really cool. We persevered. We pushed ourselves to our limits while also managing to learn what self-care was. And we emerged stronger, more resilient, and better prepared to be the best nurses that this profession has ever seen. However, I would call for us to remember what brought us to this point, the support of those who are either sitting behind us, watching the live stream, and perhaps maybe even the support of those who are no longer with us. Let us remember the valuable lessons they have taught us and let's apply those to our practice. My friends, may we continue to prioritize empathy and compassion as we provide patient-centered care. May we stay humble and remember that we are caring for people in their most vulnerable moments and may we be a guiding light for them in their darkest, moment, in darkest times. <laughs> As we have been told time and time again, the way we can do this is by constantly challenging ourselves to continue to learn. Our professional field is one that is constantly evolving, so let's be sure to continue to use all the evidence-based practice tools we've learned and in the, in the past few years in order to provide the highest quality of care to our patients. Nursing is one of the hardest professions out there. There's no competition. So it is vital that we continue to uplift one another and support each other as we navigate the joys and challenges of our careers just like we did in nursing school. We are all a part of some larger nursing community, and by working together and supporting one another, we can positively impact the world. So, my fellow nurses, as we celebrate this momentous occasion, let us look back with pride and gratitude for all that we have accomplished. Whether that looks like calling a friend after exam scores have come out to cry over a beverage, or sitting at the nursing school studying and having to do weird movements to get the lights to turn back on at 11 p.m., or even coming up with silly little songs to remember the side effects that, of every jug that may or may not be on the exam, Britta. <laughs> and let us look forward with excitement and anticipation for all that lies ahead. It has been an honor of mine to learn beside all of you. I have made friends with each and every single one of you. So with pride and gratitude, I thank you for this time, and I wish you all the best in your future careers. Thank you. Thank you, MJ. The School of Nursing is proud of each student before us today. They carry with them a belief in the importance of working with and learning from those whose backgrounds and views differ from their own and an appreciation for lifelong learning. We take time now for the first unique recognition of the day for our students who received pins during the Nurses Alumni Organization pinning ceremony in late April. The pinning ceremony is a time-honored nursing school tradition. It signifies a rite of passage, which dates back to the Crusades of the 12th century and was modernized by Florence Nightingale in the 1860s. The UW-Madison School of Nursing started this pinning tradition in 1996 to illustrate its proud history and strong connection with our nursing alumna. Will the 18 of you please stand in your place as your names are read so we can recognize you? The 2023 NAO alumni pin recipients are Angie Lee, recipient of the Dean's Pin, 
Hannah Park, recipient of the Board of Visitors pin. Cassandra Bauer, recipient of the Class of 1997 Legacy pin. Emily Jean Mowerman, who received the pin of Mary K. Gardnier, a member of the Class of 1970 and 1981. <laughs> Jamie Ann Hernandez, who received the pin of Sonia Nealis, a 1974 graduate. <laughs> Kayana Montoval, who received the pin of Mary Dowds, a graduate from 1997. Judy Chen, who received the pin of Sherry Deal, a member of the class of 1978. Anna Lee Garcia, who received the pin of Jane Rosenfeld, a member of the class of 1968. Carl Hummel, who received the pin of Michelle Byrne, a graduate from 1979 and 1986. Ariana Yarn, who received the pin of Helen Rutzler, a graduate from 1955. Yeah. Yesenia Gamero, who received the pin of Elaine Schechter Kokowski, a graduate from 1969. Yeah. Annika Lee Verst, who received the pin of Charlotte Pago Anderson, a graduate from 1959. Paige Daniel Henry, who received the pin of Sandy Latke, a graduate from 1971. Anna Hines, who received the pin of Elaine Rupka Williams, a graduate from 1951 and 1952. Abigail Mary Joy Joseph, who received the pin of Barbara Brown, a graduate of 1971. Lauren Whiteman, who received the pin of her mother, Melissa Whiteman, a graduate from 1997. <laughs> Danielle Nicole Harris, who received the pin of uh, Karen Britsky Walter, a 1960 graduate. <laughs> and Tofu Vang, who received the pin of Marianne Hagnes, Please join me in congratulating these students. We will now turn our attention towards recognizing and congratulating our other award winners. I invite Dr. Lisa Bratsky, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and the Sukelsky Professor of Education Innovation to please join me at the podium to present these awards. Thank you, Dean Scott. It is my pleasure to recognize each award recipient and share the impact each person has had on the School of Nursing. The first award we will be presenting is the Badger Future Nurse Leader Award. The recipient of this award was also our nominee for the Wisconsin Nurses Association Future Nurse Leader Award, and they were chosen by WNA as one of this year's winners. This award recognizes a student who exemplifies nursing leadership, embodies the ethics and values of nursing through preparing, motivating, and impacting other students as a leader, giving back to others, promoting activity in nursing organizations, and demonstrating overall excellence. To present this award from, from the WNA, please welcome Gina Denick Champion, Wisconsin Nurses Association Chief Executive Officer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Bracke. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I know there's nurses in the audience, and uh, I, too, want to extend happening, Happy Nurses Month to all of you. And uh, I think you all know that we, in our own careers, have made a difference. Um, and what we have coming behind us will be doing as, just as much. So um, what is the WNA Future Nurse Leader Award? It 
our goal was to identify nurses that are in a school of nursing, nursing students, who display um, incredible skills in leadership. And they are selected by the faculty within each of those programs. So I want to, again, first of all, acknowledge Dr. Lisa Bradke for her nomination of Yasina Gomero. And Yasina, would you come forward? I killed her name, didn't I? So you were selected, um, according to your professor, that you have demonstrated selfless leadership in giving back to the community and the ability to inspire others to learn and progress in the nursing field. There were an incredible amount of letters and, rep and, and recommendations and comments all about what an incredible individual you are. So WNA wants to say congratulations to you. And what we would like to do is present you with the future nurse leader pin. I can I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Do I stab myself then? No one got through, right? Or you can stab me. Yeah. <laughs> Later. <laughs> And also this um, certificate acknowledging your leadership skills and um, an open invitation to be a member of the Wisconsin Nurses Association and the American Nurses Association and be part of any one of our councils, our task forces, or even join us on our board. Um, so thank you and congratulations to you and welcome to the profession. <laughs> Thank you, Gina and Yesenia. Next are the DAISY Awards, presented on behalf of the School of Nursing and the DAISY Foundation. DAISY is an acronym which stands for Disease Attacking the Immune System. These awards were established in 1999 by the family of Patrick Barnes as a thank you to the nurses for the support they received during Patrick's illness and eventual loss. There are three DAISY Awards we will be presenting today. Two DAISY Awards for extraordinary nursing students, the other is the DAISY Award for Extraordinary Nursing Faculty. I believe everyone in this room knows that nursing school is not easy. It is challenging, it can be overwhelming, it requires intelligence, commitment, sacrifice, time management, and a compassionate connection to others. The pressures associated with class load, clinicals, exams, and finding employment, and becoming a licensed nurse can make it easy for students to lose sight of the art of caring while learning the science behind nursing. What we know, however, is that our nursing students do not overlook that required blend. Students with a true calling to nursing never lose sight of the fact that their, that their goal is to treat human beings with sensitive and compassionate care, as well as clinical expertise delivered together at vulnerable times in patients' lives. The DAISY Award for Extraordinary Nursing Students was created to recognize and celebrate nursing students who exemplify the delivery of clinical care in an extraordinary and compassionate way to patients and their families. This year's DAISY Awards for Extraordinary Nursing Students recipients are Christina, excuse me, Christina Nicole Fincio and Carl Hummel. Christina and Carl, please join me at the podium. Yep. 
I'll introduce both of you individually and then we'll recognize you together. So if you could hold applause until the end. Christina is graduating from the accelerated BSN program. She earned her first bachelor's degree from North Carolina State University in nutritional sciences. Christina was nominated for the DAISY Award because of her commitment to nursing, stemming from her compassionate care, ability to connect deeply with her patients, and provide leadership in, leadership in times of stress. She is devoted to establishing a strong nurse-patient relationship, giving the opportunity to organize and advocate for the patient, providing them the support and resources they need to meet their medical or personal goals. Christina is recognized by faculty and fellow students as hardworking, empathetic, helpful, and compassionate, instinctively connecting and advocating for each... For, for each and every one of her patients. And did I mention a smidge of humor and humility at times for nursing as well? So Carl, Carl is graduating from the traditional BSN program and was nominated for the DAISY, student, uh, the Daisy Award as a student um, for one who is diligent, thoughtful, and responsible. Carl is described by faculty as demonstrating these attributes in his nursing internship, his academic performance, his research in the honors program, and his community service. Carl is described as a student that brings joy, the joy to the group and smiles whenever you see him. Even in the most stressful and hectic times of the academic year, when all the students are stressed out about exams, Carl always prioritizes his patients, community, and research team's needs. For Carl, being committed to empathetic care, building trust and respect with each patient and their families, and providing strong advocacy for his patients are what he's most passionate about. With their clear devotion to providing extraordinary and compassionate clinical care, these two students, these two graduates, exemplify the qualities of the DAISY Nursing Student Award. Please join me in congratulating Christina and Carl as they accept their certificates and their Healers Touch sculptures provided by DAISY Foundation. The other DAISY Award we present this afternoon is the DAISY Award for Extraordinary Nursing Faculty. This award recognizes faculty for their commitment and inspirational influence on their students. This year's DAISY Faculty Award goes to Dr. Tracy Snedden. Dr. Snedden, will you join us at the podium? Dr. Snedden is a clinical associate professor at the School of Nursing, earned a postmaster's certificate and a PhD from the University of Colorado, and her BSN from Marquette University. Dr. Snedden is described by her students as an amazing educator, always figuring out how to educate students in ways they both enjoy and can gain deeper understanding. Students share that she goes above and beyond to advocate, encourage, and empower them. One student shared that Dr. Snedden solidified their pediatric, their passion in pediatric nursing field and has played a vital role in helping them get where they want to go in their academic endeavors. Additionally, Dr. Snedden is viewed as an empathetic professor and student supporter at the School of Nursing. Dr. Snedden is deserving of this award as her nominators continually shared how they were treated as people, not just as students. Dr. Snedden, on behalf of our students and our school, congratulations. The Ginsburg Family Award is a UW-Madison campus award presenting to, presented to one junior or senior student within each school or college who has made outstanding contributions to the university community while maintaining a strong and consistent academic performance. This year's winner of, winner of, the, of the Ginsburg Family Award from the School of Nursing is Katie Hardy. <laughs> Katie, please join us up on stage. Katie is graduating from the traditional BSN program 
and is being awarded the Ginsburg Family Award for her academic performance with a 3.93 GPA, her commitment to the mission of the School of Nursing in conducting impactful research, volunteering and working in Madison student journalism and Asian American and Pacific Islander communities, and her leadership roles as a person of color on the Badger Herald Board of Directors and active committee member ship of the multi, Multicultural Student Center. Not sure how she's had time to be involved in all of those activities and still maintain that GPA, but way to go. Katie has worked on two major projects in the fields of dementia and cancer-related pain research, the latter of which she will be, pre will be a presenter of a poster at the American Holistic Nurses Association annual conference in June. Katie believes in believes advocacy and awareness are best accomplished by using a journalistic voice to, each, to reach as many people as possible. After graduation, she plans to continue her nursing career at Georgetown University Hospital in Washington, D.C. in the Pediatric Transplant Unit Residency Program. Katie embodies the pillars of the Ginsburg Family Award through her leadership, service, and scholarship. Please join me in congratulating Katie. Our, our next award today is the Outstanding Undergraduate Student Award. This award is bestowed upon a nursing student who excels in academic performance, clinical competence, and service to the School of Nursing and the Badger Nurse community. The 2023 Outstanding Undergraduate Student Award winner is Gunnar Smith. Gunnar, please join us up on stage. Gunnar is graduating from the, tradi the traditional BSN program, and throughout the nursing school, throughout nursing school, Gunnar's dedication and commitment to his studies and clinical experiences, despite dealing with significant hardship outside of the school, are why he is receiving the award today. He has maintained a stellar grade point average through rigorous study, meeting deadlines, and reaching out to professors for clarification on material. All of the nominators shared a consistent theme that in that Gunnar always goes out of his way to help others and has been a mentor to many of his fellow students as they encountered ups and downs throughout nursing school. On top of maintaining a rigorous study schedule, Gunnar works 16 plus hours at UW Hospital as a CNA in the Trauma and Life Support Center. Furthermore, he demonstrates time commitment and leadership as the risk reduction chair of his fraternal organization. Gunner's nominators included that the integrity, advocacy, and self-discipline he demonstrated the past two years show how he is an outstanding student representative and will be able to, to thrive as a nurse resident next year in the Trauma and Life Support Center at UW Health. Gunner, congratulations on this award and thank you for all you've done. Our next award today is a campus-wide award. The Outstanding Undergraduate Returning Adult Student Award recognizes returning adult undergraduate students whose exceptional determination and perseverance have enabled them to pursue their academic work and to contribute to the community as demonstrated by their leadership and service. The 2023 Outstanding Undergraduate Returning Adult Student Award winner is Christine Fairfeck. Christine, please join me on up on stage. Christine's journey to the stage today has not been a direct path. In fact, it was everything but direct. Christine left home at age 18 with no family support and she started college. Yet after three years, she had to drop out due to student loans and the burden of self-sufficiency. Unsure what to do next over the next few, year, few years, she tried out a variety of career paths and jobs in search of her true calling. When she didn't find that calling, she decided to join the military. Without really knowing much about it, she was selected, she selected the job of 68C, Licensed Practical Nurse Specialist, from a long list of options. She soon found herself surrounded by leaders who believed in her and encouraged her to start towards a BSN. Her resiliency, resiliency through life's challenges and obstacles made her into a steadfast, tenacious, and unfaltering, now first-generation college student. Army veteran and mom who will continue her research project after graduation while working in the ICU. She also aspires to be a nurse, nurse anesthetist DNP 
with hopes of being able to work at the VA hospital. Christine, we couldn't be more proud of having you as part of our Badger nurse family. Our final, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My car's in there. Our final two awards are, are our Outstanding Badger Nurse Alumni Awards. This award is given annually to one University of Wisconsin Nursing, University of Wisconsin Madison School of Nursing graduate who has earned a nursing degree within the last 10 years. Recipients of this award serve as role models for the current and future nurses and nursing students. They demonstrate the importance of being a Badger nurse through their engagement and volunteerism. They've achieved early career success and impacted the nursing profession in one or more of the following areas, patient care, research, teaching, administration, or community service, all while being committed to achieving health equity. Today we are recognizing two years of award winners. The 2022 Outstanding Badger Nurse Alumni Award recipient is FEU and the 2023 Outstanding Badger Nurse Alumni Award is Tolu Osenya. Effie, would you please join us on stage? <laughs> Effie is a two-time School of Nursing graduate, completing her BSN in 2015 and her PhD in 2019. Effie was involved in the School of Nursing Honors Program as an undergraduate student. This experience opened the door to nursing research for her. Without it, she expressed she would not have known the impact nursing science has on the profession. She is currently the Morton K. and Jane Blaustein Postdoctoral Fellow in Psychiatric and Mental Health Nursing Research at the Johns Hopkins nursing School of Nursing. Her program of research focuses on understanding and preventing the intergenerational transmission of adversity and its health consequences with an overarching goal to improve health outcomes and equi equalities, equities excuse me, among families and young children exposed to high levels of adversity. Effie currently co-chairs the Multicultural Alumni Subcommittee, which aims to support School of Nursing alumni. She has been an integral voice and an advocate for our diverse alumni groups. Thank you, Effie, for paving the way for our next generation of Badger nurses. It's an honor to present you with the 2022 Outstanding Badger Nurse Award. I would like to recognize our 2023 Outstanding Badger Nurse Award recipient, Tolo Osenia. Tolo, unfortunately, could not be here today as she is part of graduation festivities at Duke University. Tolu is an associate professor at the Duke University School of Nursing. She received her bachelor's, master's, and doctorate degrees at the University of Wisconsin-Madison School of Nursing between 2011 and 2016. She went on to complete a postdoctoral fellowship in, in brain injury research at Shepherd Center in Georgia. Her research has identified that despite high risks of readmission and complex medical needs, there are no transitional care standards in the United States for patients with moderate to severe traumatic brain injury, impacting independent living and increased family involvement in care management. Tolu credits her nursing education at UW-Madison as being instrumental in her progression to academic nursing. Nursing education helped de develop her passion for nursing research. She would like to thank the wonderful nursing educators who provided foundational knowledge that was critical to her learning growth and development as a nurse scientist. Further, her nursing, her nursing educators taught her how to teach future nurse scientists. She's thrilled to be able to pay it forward. Tolo asked me to read a statement to the graduates today. I encourage you to stay connected with your colleagues and create a powerful network of intelligent and successful nurses. You can call on them for whatever you may need during the course of your career and beyond. I encourage you to stay engaged with the School of Nursing, go out, do wonderful things, and keep in contact with the school and the faculty. I encourage you to give back as alumni and support students who will be the future of nursing. Thank you, Tolo, Tolu, and congratulations on this award. Please join me in giving in a round of applause for the two alumni award winners.
This ceremony of convocation is important for all of us. It is important, first, to our graduating students. For them, it marks their incredible potential and their achievements. It becomes a turning point from which they move forward differently in the world, demonstrating the skills they have developed through the pursuit of their degree. The ceremony is also important for our faculty. For them, it is a time to celebrate achievements of the graduating students and to recognize the scholarly circle of life. Convocation is important, too, for advisors, mentors, and other supporters in the school who relish in the passing of this milestone for someone in whom they have believed in for years. Families, friends, and supporters of graduates, we know this is incredibly important for you, too. So we will now individually recognize our Bachelor of Science in Nursing graduates. We will have our graduates please um, process to the um, approach the stage to, and take your turn in going across. Dr. Dana O'Brien and Dr. Rebecca Muir will please approach the podium um, to begin the process. Tofu Vang. <laughs> Kristen Galki. <laughs> Judy Chen. Emily Maines. <laughs> Kylie Stasny. <laughs> Ariana Farmer. Sian Joe <laughs> Hannah Parker <laughs> Hannah Park <laughs> Marilyn Nazareth Michaela Baker. <laughs> Sophie Johnson. <laughs> Eric Gregory Duthman. Lauren Thornton. <laughs> Jen. 
Kiana Mantoval. Reginald Bryant Curtis. Madeline Donnelly. Olivia Osinski. Katie Hardy. Gunner Smith. Christine Fairfarak. Anna Heinz. Victoria Isitz. Mabel Jankowski. Christine Hu. Yasnia Gamero. <laughs> Christina Nicole Fenizio. <laughs> Carl Hummel. Isabel Rund. Marissa Joy McCarney. Madeline Hampton. Liliana Swenson. Annika Lee Varst. Sarah Nicole Kyleman. Ellie Brandt. <laughs> Abigail Mary Joy Joseph. <laughs> Annalie Garcia. Liliana Ortiz. <laughs> Kyle Thomas Jasmine. <laughs> Luke Stover.
Lindsay Biscup. Ami Shang. Austin Kramer. Emily Scott. Tara Jane Minor. Hannah Elizabeth Mowbray. Emma Nicole Obermeyer. Margaret O'Loughlin. Ashley Olivia Knight. Anna Marie Callis. Maggie Meyer. Rachel Bailey. Abigail Douglas. Nicole Hibbard. Lila Andrew. Benjamin Frewey. Richard Tail. Seth Rocha. Noah Carpolina. Alea Mayfield. Lizzie Galindo. Paige Lowell. Juliana Rodriguez. Giuliani Rodriguez, sorry. Isabella Communali. <laughs> Bianca Rojas. <laughs> Jonathan Whitten. Adeline Davies. Woo! 
Ariana Turganin. Turganin. Sorry. Anna Coleman. Madigan Lorimer Mott. M Michelle Dawn. Rupa Fapa. Carla O'Keefe. Samantha Margaret Vanderberg. Neve Nolan. Allison Grace Johnson. Alexis Jordan Cross. Rachel Claire Lentner. Paige Danielle Henry. <laughs> Hannah Marie Richards. <laughs> Caitlin Marie Hackett. Marissa Ruth Roberts. Emma Kimball. Adam Albright. Amy Bartosiak. <laughs> Hannah Marie Izdepski. <laughs> Ashley Nelson. Jeremiah Hubing. Alexis Hooven. Rose Grunlinski. Alexandra Carlson. <laughs> Yu Yang Zong. <laughs> Sophie Gumbel. Abby Ann Kilgore. <laughs> Jamie Ann Hernandez. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Isabel Hernke. Cami Otto. Maya Marie Molgard. Nicole Trafton. Maria Marsland. <laughs> Dahlia Jones. <laughs> Rose Whitehead. Olivia Rose Bow. <laughs> Serena Browning. <laughs> Emily Jean Maurman. Mary Maritza Jabchurian. <laughs> Catherine Ryan Anderson. Erin Helen Reed. Ava Catherine Nelson. <laughs> Chloe Margaret Day. <laughs> Ellie Nan Malachek. Elizabeth Susan Shapiro. Janelle Catherine Wenzel. Brittany Karshinsky. John Paul Russell. <laughs> JC Olszewski. <laughs> Matela De Bruin. Ariana Yarn. <laughs> Danielle Nicole Harris. Suke Ndoy. <laughs> Brian 
Barrera Falcon. Brooke Casper. Ella Schrader. Nicholas Peterson. Alyssa Faulkner. Anna Cullum. Cassidy Brodusky. Emily Puckner. Megan Rose Harden. <laughs> Mitchell Oki. Sarah Zimmerman. Derek Kanan. Dylan Jacob Macadrola. Elizabeth Kemper. Julia Manby. Grace Miller. Gabrielle Jansen. Leah Nyholm. <laughs> Hannah Mary Lachlan. <laughs> Peyton Eben. V. Fam. Thean Mai. Amy Melendez. Julia Marquardt. Sydney Davis. Jocelyn Amble. Olivia Turlistner. Right. 
Jenna Zanzig. Emily Reese. Joseph Nicholson. Eric John Kubash. Bree Braylick. Sam Wallace. <laughs> Katie Miller. <laughs> Lauren Whiteman. Claire Nottingham. <laughs> Hayden Schoenberg. <laughs> Grant Ingle. Travis Osborne. <laughs> Stephen Sue. <laughs> Ellen Bauman. <laughs> Callie Fees. Callista Hannanen. <laughs> Emma Jackler. <laughs> Katie Marie Brixey. Kate. Kate Marie Brixey. Sorry. Maggie Grote. <laughs> Ellie Greenan. Greenan, sorry. Greenan. <laughs> Amanda Brooke Hyman. Emily Marthaler. Lauren Hoffman. Margaret Violante. Angie Lee. On behalf of the faculty, congratulations to our new Bachelor of Science in Nursing graduates.
As graduates of the UW-Madison School of Nursing Baccalaureate Program, you have crossed the bridge from student to graduate, and you walk forward as a baccalaureate-prepared nurse. You have gone from being a member in a cohort to being a member of a broader professional community, a community connected through the power of the Wisconsin idea and a shared commitment to the continual sifting and winnowing by which alone the truth can be found. We now turn our attention to your future connections as Badger nurses. To help us do so, I invite Dr. Lisa Bratsky back to the podium. Dr. Bratsky is a Badger nurse alum twice over and a member of the Nurses Alumni Organization. Dr. Bratsky. Thank you, Dean Scott. I'm honored to offer this note of congratulations on behalf of the UW-Madison Nurses Alumni Organization. The UW Nurses Alumni Organization has a rich tradition in the school. It was founded in 1927, shortly after the first class graduated from our School of Nursing, and it has been a strong partner to advance programs and promote fellowship among alumni ever since. It is a pleasure to welcome you to the UW-Madison Nurses Alumni Organization as you head into the next phase of your career as a baccalaureate prepared nurse. The UW Nurses Alumni Organization is open to all Badger graduates and it's free. This group supports activities that benefit nursing students at all levels of their educational journeys. Our primary function is to connect alumni with each other through social and career enhancing events and functions. I hope that once the dust settles and you are in your new role wherever you're going, that you, can, you will consider getting involved by either attending a function, mentoring a current student, or joining one of our committees. I have it on good authority, there's always openings. <laughs> Nursing is a versatile profession and you have made the commitment and successfully advanced your education. You join other alumni who are out there doing amazing and meaningful work that benefits society greatly. We hope that as you look back on the years that you have spent here at UW-Madison, maybe after you've had a chance to unwind from this weekend and the end of the semester, um, that you experience the great pride of being a UW-Madison graduate and a Badger nurse for life. I am certain that you are prepared to provide high quality care, address complex health problems in innovative ways, strive to improve health outcomes, and will continue to challenge yourself to be lifelong learners, clinicians, and maybe even a nurse educator or researcher one day. Again, on behalf of the UW Nurses Alumni Organization, congratulations to all of you on your graduation. So yes, congratulations once again to our 2023 class of graduates, our new Badger nurses, and to the families and friends who have provided support along the way. As you go forth, I encourage you to remember that nurses are everywhere. Nurses lead, nurses collaborate, nurses care, nurses research, and nurses innovate. We foster a culture of health that improves Wisconsin and our world. So now, I ask our graduates to please stand. Faculty, I ask you to please stand. Graduates, family, friends, please join me in thanking the faculty. Please also join me in thanking the staff who have supported our students who have been instrumental in the preparation and coordination of today's convocation. Thank you to all our staff. Now, let us go forward. Guests, 
Please stay seated until the graduates and the faculty have recessed. Thank you for being here, and as always, on Wisconsin. <laughs>